again, I'm Judas Berra, Mexican fashion photographer and Godox partner. Having been working as a professional fashion photographer for almost a decade, I value equipment that delivers the same versatility I bring to the workspace. Whether it be inside a studio or on location, used to mean I had to carry several light modifiers in order to have the variety in lighting my productions call for. Well, no longer. It is my pleasure to introduce you the new Godox Parabolic Focusing System, a true parabolic reflector able to transform the way it spreads light. What's included in the new Parabolic Light Focusing System Kit? The system is comprised by a parabolic reflector, a focusing rod, assembly tools, a focusing mount, a PPG1 grip. Additionally, I'll be using two suck diffusers and a grid, which can both be purchased separately. All of this in a very practical carry bag. The True Parabolic in Action Today's location is a little bit further than I've been before. I've decided the best place to test the power of the Godox Parabolic Focusing System is on planet Mars, or on a recreation inspired on it. first set, I've decided to push the rod all the way, so I can shower both my subject and the background with light. Having the freedom to focus the beam of light at will allows me to find that sweet spot. I used a 158 parabolic reflector set on step 5, directly in front of my model with the AD1200 Pro. No suck diffuser, no grid. For the second set, as the rod shifts and the reflection curves, light goes from showering my subject and background entirely to focusing and spotlighting the elements I desire. I decided to set my 128 reflector on step 8, 45 degrees above my model, again with the AD1200 Pro. No suck diffuser, but using the grid to greatly reduce the spread of light. <laughs> When shooting my third set, I fixed a 128 reflector on step 5 with an AD1200 Pro directly above my subject. This time, I didn't use the grid, but decided on placing the suck diffuser since it's the perfect modifier for beauty shots and portraits, where the intention is to flood the light in order to soften the skin and give a more natural look. I used an 88 parabolic reflector on step 2 with an AD1200 Pro and a grid as a fill light and shot a 68 reflector on step 9 with an AD200 and a blue gel to add a pop of color. The last set was shot on a 158 parabolic reflector and AD1200 Pro combo on step 2 to the right using the suck but no grid and a 68 parabolic reflector and AD200 combo on step 10 to the left. Again no grid, no suck but a red gel for a splash of tone. Never before have I enjoyed the experience of total freedom and creative versatility that these reflectors have provided me today. There's a size for every photographer's need. Whether it be indoors or on location, there is no doubt that Godox's family of parabolic focusing systems are the one true parabolic reflectors. Even so, that as I leave planet Mars, I can say they prove to be absolutely out of this world.